A good day fellow problem solvers, John East here as you know, Johan Westhuizen. So how to work with decimal fractions? Remember numbers, that's our language, right? So let's stay tuned to understand how to compare and round off decimal fractions. Remember, share, like and subscribe. So we're looking at comparing and rounding off decimal fractions. First of all, comparing. Uh, in comparing I mean magnitude like understanding which numbers are bigger and which numbers are smaller. So remember always that from zero to the right in the positive direction, we are looking at bigger numbers. And to the left, we're looking at smaller numbers. And this is important to notice because two, if you talk about a positive number, is bigger than one. Right, so if I want to write this down, I can say 2 is bigger than 1. And 1 is bigger than 0. 0 is bigger than negative 1. And this is where we sometimes get confused is with numbers that we are reminded of are bigger, like for instance 2. We know 2 is bigger than 1, but over here, negative 2 is smaller than negative 1 and that is very important to notice that now already. This pattern continues. Negative 1 is bigger than negative 2. So remember to the left is smaller and to the right is bigger from whichever value we are comparing. So that's all I want to say regarding comparing. Now rounding off. So we are going to take the same number from the previous video, 12.3456, and rounding off to one decimal place. Remember, that's one decimal place. So we'll only have one number after the comma. Two decimal places is all the way to there. Three decimal places is still to the five. And four decimal places to where the six is. So take note of that. Okay, so and again, we're looking at the number to its right to see if that one influences it and how it influences it. Okay, so the first one, it is 12,3 because the 4 is not 5 or bigger, therefore it just remains 12.3. If it's to two decimal places, it will definitely be 12,3. Now the next number we need to decide. 4 is being influenced by the 5. That 5 is bigger than 4, it's 4 and above, so therefore this will become 12.35. Okay, then if we round off to 3 decimal places, that means all the way to there, uh, then this will become a 12,34. And now we ask the question, how will this 5 be influenced by the 6? It will be rounded up so therefore we'll have a 6 over there and then just a little bit of a trick question if we have to round off to four decimal places but there's only four decimal places shown then you write down the answer exactly as is because there's no number to the right to influence that six all the best hopefully this helped you